I am going to... What? I am going to withdraw my horse and head west. Hi, Bo Beetle. Uh, what was my voice for him? I don't actually re I, th I think it was Mario. I'm pretty sure it was Mario. Hey, uh, you, you sure do a lot of a traveling. You are the real deal. Uh, well uh, then, can I attempt uh, you to uh, buy, uh, or are you uh, selling today? Uh, I have a uh, lot of good uh, stuff. Uh, tomatoes? That's cool. They're tomatoes. Honestly felt, I'm kind of surprised we're just seeing tomatoes. Um, I am going to buy a tomato. Actually, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy a tomato. I want a tomato just because it is a tomato. I'm not going to buy two. I have, I have enough. I do not need anything else. Thank you, Beetle. Um, I did say I was going to cook some generic meals. Let's do that real quick. With my tomato. Hello. You want some chicken? Eat up, bud. Oh, look at, look at the dog. Good boy. Now lead me towards something, because apparently that a, was a thing in Breath of the Wild. Can I pet him? The fact that I can't pet this dog is criminal. Look how happy he is. If I do circles, will he do it as well? Come on, buddy. Do, so do something, please. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever, buddy. Um, who are you? Somebody with the gazette? What's the Lucky Clover gazette covering in this edition? Great fairy fleas into flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. Trouble, big trouble. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden away in her flower bud. Uh, nearby Woodland Stable is in a panic. I heard a musical troupe was heading to Elden in the northeast. I wonder if they're planning to visit Woodland Stable. I bet there's a lot going on there too. Plus, there's that rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visiting travelers. Hopefully the great fairy near here emerges someday. I always read every word of these newspapers. Trouble, big trouble. Okay, uh, let's... <sighs> let's get a horse. Let's get B.A. and head west. Uh, uh, B.A. No, I'm good. Uh, uh. Thank you. Zonai, yep, there are... I skipped past probably a lot of relevant dialogue, but I don't care. We are headed west. This guy has a quest. We will come back for the quest. My goal is to go west, get to the Grudo Highlands, and then we will head east from there. And if I don't stick with that plan... Okay, those are enemies. If I don't stick with that plan... Oh, my word. Then we're never going to get anything done. That is the most over-engineered thing I've ever made. <laughs> look, at, look at that thing. I made a slot for it. <laughs> How is the pre- Perfect. You know, I probably could just like attach a stake to it. I don't know. Thanks for the money. And the balls. Thank you. And the what? The sleepover. What? Okay. Thank you for the sleepover invitation, buddy. I... Man, he really, he really likes me at this rate. I'm not gonna kill the fox. Okay, we're headed west. We're headed west. We're headed west. West! Oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> no. No. Mm -mm. No. Not doing it. Not right now. Later. We're headed west. Also, this isn't Satori, is it? I don't think it is. I'm also kind of expecting to see Hastu on the side of the road, considering that's how we first encountered him. 
I think that was an NPC that was running undercover. It was. If they can continue to exist like that, I do not care. Also, that star fragment is still there. What and how and why? I thought that they disappeared in Sunrise. Like, that's obtainable now. Um, take a left, please. Stop, 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 stop. Not you. What is this? Blue Nightshade. Oh, it's the bat. Okay. Um, you can just fight Riju. I don't I don't really care about you, Mr. Tree. You know it's one thing that's kinda weird that it's gone now? The the memories. That was something that while not like Is that? What is that? Like it's a Bokoblin. Is that a silver Bokoblin? It is. With something really weird on its head. Oh, that's a tree with a beehive on it. That's not good. Yep, keep juggling him. Keep juggling him. Wait, I found a shrine? Oh, how did I miss that? Silver Bokoblin horn. A unique flourish at the tip, it's sharper than it looks. Okay. And a shrine. Uh, sure. I, I don't know how I didn't see the shrine. Wait, is it going to come out of the ground? Seek the crystal connected with the to the beam and offer it at, at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Also, the light that banishes evil, I believe, is just a reference to light orbs. I don't think it's like... The diamond that we got. Okay, so this is obviously pointing us into the cave. And we're gonna go inside. It, you know what's crazy? This recording session is four hours long, and I'm still down to do it. I kind of... That's weird. I kind of wanted to end by getting the tower. But there's so many... There's so many, uh... Sidetracks that that's becoming very difficult. <laughs> also, is this guy just walking laps? Like, what's he about? What's up here? A chest, which probably contains some sort of like gem. If that that is some sort of gem. I did need that. And get some bright bloom seeds to gear up for our inevitable return to the depths. And ooh, snap! Uh, ooh, ooh, watch this. This is gonna be so sick. I don't know if this has the range for what I'm trying to do, but boom! Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's cool. I'm a big fan of that. Get our bloopy reward. Link, please climb. Luminous stone, which I can't... I can break. I forgot that I had a rock hammer. We also have enough... Uh, we have enough orbs to uh, get more stamina, and I... I'm very tempted to do that. Diamond? Oh, snap! I didn't think that those were obtainable from common looking ore like that, but apparently there's a random chance. Already, this is a giant reward. I have yet to fuse di a diamond to a weapon. At some point, I will. I'm just kind of scared to because of how rare it is. Also, that's literally the only bomb that we have now. We have two. Okay, never mind. We have two. Two whole bombs. Boom. I'll just take that one. Thank you. Sticky lizards. Watch this. He has no idea. I should probably equip a better weapon than that. 
Don't do your sitting tack. Ow! That hurt a little bit. Not too bad. Be careful. Be very careful. His eye is open and he can't see me. That's very good. I don't want to charge. I hit his hand. Oh, wait. Come on. Nice. Nice flick shots. Get around the edge. There we go. He's dead. And we got the stone, which means we can get the shrine and a bomb. A pumpkin. A Hinox horn. It's kind of cool, the, the concept of a, a Hinox wrapping its horn in something more durable than it to overcome its, like... It's not like a good horn, you know? It's like, hey, I have, like, a deficiency. And so I'm going to use tools to adapt my natural weapon. Like, humans kind of do that, but not really. Roll! Go! Stop rolling, please! Raru's blessing. What is the blessing going to be this time? A spear with long throw? I... Fine, I'll drop the hammer, but I'm not... I'm not terribly thrilled with that reward. Okay. Now. Can B.A. please... Rejoin me. So that we can then go to the west and go to the snow, which is what we're trying to do, ultimately. And I don't remember how how close the path leads us. At some point, we will have to climb, but I want to get to the tower. That's, that's really where I want to end off the, the recording session, because... That's weird. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I could have sworn that's probably what was going to happen, but... Is this like a reverse Korok Seed? It's a leftover Korok Seed from Breath of the Wild. That's kind of cool that we see the consequences of that. What we need to do with that, I don't know, but we're just going to continue to go west. And <laughs> murder a bunch of... Look at that! I'm so happy that's, that worked out how I wanted it to. We got so many... We got nine chicken breasts from that. Yes. Yes, that was the best. That's a Octorok, which I don't care about. Man, it's at this point that in Breath of the Wild, I would be stopping and like marking the map because my Korok mask would be going off. Which at some point we will find a Korok mask. I want the raw meat. Come on, kill him. Certainly it's gonna be worth it. Kill him! Raw prime meat. Yeah, there we go. I'll take that. I totally forgot that prime meat was a thing. Okay, we're headed north. Look at that. It's kind of wild looking. Also, what's... Oh, never mind. I thought that was water. Really, horse? Is this where the trail runs out? It looks like it might be... trying to head west here, but I think I'm gonna encounter a gorge in like three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah. I don't think. Go. I don't think BA is gonna be able to join us, so. So we'll jump off BA. And go west. This isn't where the giant horse is, right? No, that's down there. I don't remember there being these trees here in Breath of the Wild. Then again, I don't... I don't think there were. 
Do I care enough about those to sacrifice my height? I don't think I do. Although I do get a hot air balloon. Ah, no, headed west. We're headed west. We're going west. I do, however. I saw that battery, which means there's a flame emitter here. Take that giant battery. Take that flame emitter. Fuse that, and... Get a lot of bonus height here. Snap! <laughs> I fell off. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It did its purpose. And because I built it, I don't have enough sunlight to remake it. Going for the tower. We're gonna beeline, we're gonna ignore everything. Unless there's a Gleok, then I think I have to fight that in self-defense, but we can... I think for the most part we can ignore everything. And because once I get that tower, then I'm... I, I basically am, just want a warp point in... Uh, in the Gerudo Highlands, because then I can warp back, because we have a... we have a lot of... We, we only have five orbs, I guess, but... I can at the very least get more stamina for our trip. Also, these are the wrong boots, I think? No, it's no speed up. They're fine. Okay, uh, we have... We have this. Which is not enough somehow. Um... Wow. Barely not enough. So let's do this. There we go. Ice Breathless Alphos Tail. Some talons. And let's fuse this to... Sure. Sure. There we go. And honestly, Grudo prepared us very well for... Grudo uh, prepared us very well for the Grudo Highlands because we got these boots. We got these boots and we got a bunch of rewards. I wonder if I, that's a snowdrift I could blow. We have a bunch of gems thanks to our trip that we didn't have before. I mean, I, this is post, this is after me, I sold mine, you know? That's not vertically above. So we're doing very well for ourselves. I don't imagine that this area is going to be terribly difficult. I have I have snow boots. I have a bunch of food. I mean, we're better prepared now than I've ever been. Also, this is going to be kind of annoying. I don't think I'll be able to make this. Uh, I probably can. It's just crazy. Everywhere we look, there's it's clear that there is some sort of thing that's going to take up like half an episode, you know? Like, what, what, what's going on with Death Mountain over there, right? What's what's going on with that? What's that? As opposed to Breath of the Wild, where all we're looking at is basically this. But even this has something interesting. Look at that rune over there. You, you know that something is something. There, There's always going to be a unique experience around every corner. Not just Korok seeds, not just more shrines that are largely kind of copy-paste. Actual substance everywhere. And it's awesome. It's amazing what they've done with this map that has created this and fostered this experience. I'm constantly finding new things, even still, for like 60 episodes in, 70 episodes in, I'm constantly finding new collectibles that give a unique reward. I'm encountering unique challenges, like, hey, take this crystal back to the shrine, you have to beat a boss for it inside a cave. And in Breath of the Wild, there might be a boss next to that shrine, but that's it. You have to go find this thing and uncover it. And along the way, you get these rewards. And every piece of gameplay ties into every other piece of gameplay in, in a cohesive manner. It's it's great. Everything points to everything. And I, I'm i really enjoying that about this game. Uh, whiz robe. If that's a fire rod, it's probably not, though. Probably an ice rod. I almost fused the, that to my thing. Most used. I almost didn't get that shot off. Drop. 
sapphire rod. So a water rod? I wonder if that freezes enemies. In the in the cold. Okay, where is this tower? We're finally. We're fi there it is. There it is. Okay. That's where we're going. And I'm wholly expecting this place to look vastly different. I can already see there are places to make contraptions. I remember sledding down that hill. There's an entrance to the depths. That's a great start. We're, we're definitely going to use that. Can I... Oh, I can't make a sled. But we're definitely going to use that entrance to the depths. And there's a shrine right next to it. So... When we go down there, and if you remember, uh... What? Oh. Hi, bud. If you remember, when we were we were bordering the Gerudo Highlands underground, it was a massive pit. It was just an abyss that we couldn't see the bottom of. Hey, bud. Uh, let's equip this. I somehow got that. Okay, you're dead. I'm totally down to clown with these these fools at this point. Uh, in fact, let's get some food going. I've made a bunch. Why not? Nice attack, bro. Ooh, you're kind of tough. You're a little bit tough. Well, I... M Ow. Tougher. Wolves. Get out of my way, wolves. I'm totally content not killing wolves. And... <laughs> that was the worst time. Ooh, Soldier Construct 4? Okay. Small wheel shield. Mm, don't really care. I have enough shields. Okay, you're probably... You're gonna fuse something. So I need to take out the archer, but I need to take the, out the archer first. You know what? Is electricity good against these guys? Give me a lemon. Looks to be. Okay, that guy has a bow, so I don't really care about him. How did that miss? I don't know if they can see through chests. They can. They can see through chests. Fine. Just hit you. Good job, Riju. Easy. It's kind of amazing the, the difference in how much I struggle against enemies now. Uh, you're... What is this? Frost emitter. Okay. Like, those same enemies just, like... I guess we're, we're 60 episodes in, but a while ago, those would have been difficult. Now they're not. Now I don't care. Frost emitter times three. Fine reward. Not here, but eventually. Uh... Bow, whatever. And we're headed that way still, I believe. And I'm pretty... Yeah, that, that is... Yeah, that, that's where we're going. That's where we're ending off the session, is right there. Get a little bit of high ground, just just to kind of see. I'm not, I'm not really partaking in any of these attractions. I'm just looking around. I'm just asking questions. Looking for T-posing Lizalfos, you know. Stuff like that. Important stuff. Don't mess with me, Wolf. I'll end you. You know... I think it's... Oh, where was that? I'll have to check. There's an episode where uh, one of my now roommates found a, a hole. Like a, a hole in the map that you could climb on the inside of these these mountains. And I don't remember if it was here or not. Uh, I'm gonna assume that fire's pretty decent here. It's not. Okay. Um, I have that. Shock emitter club. I'm gonna use this. 
Oh, you guys are armored. You guys are armored. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Retreat real quick. Oh, look at the shields on these guys. Do I even care? Let me look at the rewards on them. They're all, like, it... This would be... This would be heaven if I needed shields. Now, that's kind of cool game design, where these guys have all the rewards you need, but it's, like, one kind of reward. But I... I actually don't think I want to mess with them, because... I'm gonna use my bombs, I only have two, and what am I gonna get, you know? Shields, which I don't need and cannot hold. So, I'm gonna let these guys be. They uh, they can just chill, they can chill. Hey, have fun, I'm actually kinda sorry that I burned your face alive. It's, I'm sure it's okay, I'm sure it'll recover. It's just a little bit of face burning. We, we all deal with that from time to time. Also, why? Oh. Very rare that we see one of these puzzles nowadays. Uh, rotate wolf. Don't mess with me, wolf. Uh, like that. No? I wonder if this was a cave entrance in Breath of the Wild. I actually do not remember. Nice shot. Am I close? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, well, let's... Let's kill this guy. Do I have a normal bow? I do. Nice. That's Blue Laker again, box. Ow. Okay, please die. Later, bud. Later days. I have so many of these flame emitters now that I, I'm i definitely going to be using those to attack basically everything. Because they do so much bonus damage, even though on the tin they don't. A radiant shield. Okay, I'm not fusing that. I'm not she fusing that because you guys will yell at me if I do. I'm just going to mark that. To be that. And then... I'm gonna beeline for that sh that uh, tower, like I said. Grudo Highlands Skyview Tower. And a... Bloopy. How did I miss that? How did I miss that again? Eh, okay. Oh! Look at that. Also, yes, I know. I told myself. <sighs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. We'll do it next episode. We'll do it next episode. Forget the fact that the game design in this game is so is so good that hitting a random enemy, or, I mean, not really an enemy, but like a random resource reveals a whole little side quest. Forget all that. We're... Don't let the game design trick you. I'm five hours, or I'm almost four hours, in, uh, five hours into this recording. Uh, Hudson Construction Activity Report, Bilson. Who would have thought that a, a Skyview Tower could get snowed in like this? We're just lucky that the cave we s stored our construction materials in was safe. I'm flying back to make a proper report. Oh, do, so do we need to complete it? Is that what we're doing? I think it is. Um... Snap. I'm not gonna get my warp point, unless I can. Is this a warp point? No. It's not. I actually have to do the cave. <laughs> of course I do. <sighs> okay. Alright. Hopefully I don't need NPCs to go along with this. Like, I don't need to fly them in somehow, like he was saying. I can just do this cave, get the resources, and then repair the- or finish the construction. So let's see what this note says. I'm, I'm going to keep a record of my time working on the Skyview Tower in the Grudo Highlands. Day one. We arrived at the site and started construction. Unfortunately, a heavy snowstorm blew in as soon as we started. We had to stop and take shelter in a nearby cave. Good news, the cave is warm and safe. We decided to use it as our base camp for the remainder of the project. Day three. The cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined. We explored inside by following the water downstream. 
When we were deep in the cave, we heard some hammering. I don't know how a sound from outside could have made it that far down. We will investigate tomorrow. Day 6. Here are some highlights from the cave investigation report. The cave continues all the way under Skyview Tower. The tower's weight should, may be a problem. We should build a reinforcement in the cave so it doesn't sink. Day 10. The tower is done. It was a breeze with Pura's clever design and the skillful prep work by Hudson Construction. Uh, all that legwork kept on site assembly simple and efficient. Since we may end up using the site again, we decided to leave some materials in the cave. For, the first thing I'll do when I get up, off this mountain is have a warm bowl of soup. Um... Okay... So, we can go downstream? Do we need to? I don't quite understand the prerogative here. Can I just float this? I can. So... Is that... That is a chest, so I need to grab that. Also, again, good game design, just saying, hey, by the way, this bright bloom seed that you need as a resource and is basically infinite, we're going to put it next to, next to, uh, uh nah, I don't care. We're going to put it next to a chest, just for you. I don't, I, I wish that I was more of a student of game design when... when I, uh, played Breath of the Wild. Because, honestly, they, they might have done all this, this stuff in Breath of the Wild, and I just didn't notice it. Like, since I started designing Dungeons & Dragons, um, I've gotten a lot more aware of that in, in games I like. Okay, so this is where it stops, and this is the reinforcement they're talking about. So, uh, in theory, I'm gonna ascend through that. I think that's the purpose of this. Like, it's closed off, but it's operable. Thank you, Riju. I appreciate the spirit, but I'm not I'm not interested in that today. So we get some chill shrooms. I, I kind of thought we would have gotten a... Um, a frog. Ooh, we have a little tunnel. What is this? This is neat. This reminds me of Skyward Sword. Oh, and it goes behind the waterfall, which I should have looked behind anyway. Topaz, okay. Okay, okay, I got it. What does it do? Where does it bring me? What happens? I'm in! Yes! Does it work? Does it work? It should work. It's a, Okay, it gives us a warp point. That's really all I care about here. Ah, <sighs> yes! Alright. And finally... I've achieved my goals. <sighs> Next recording session. I'll press A. Wait, this is warpable, right? I gotta check. Okay, this is warpable now. Next recording session. Oh, I see what happened. The entrance was... Oh, I get it. I thought the entrance was above ground and, like, it just wasn't done yet. But no, it was actually legitimately snowed in. That makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense, I understand. Next time, I'll press A, and we'll get our first top-down view of the Gerudo Highlands, and the, the next area that I'm going to clear out and complete. See you all, then.